So when you're looking at the main BetAngel interface, um, there's a little icon here, which is the market overview chart. It was one of the first features that we introduced to BetAngel, but we've significantly upgraded it over the years. So I thought it was about time that I actually did a full video on the market overview screen. If you're interested in trading with BetAngel, then visit our website where you can download a free trial of BetAngel Professional and BetAngel Trader. If you want to learn how to use them, then visit the Academy where we give you a detailed structured walkthrough of each product. And if you're an existing user, then head on over to the forum where we have a load of files for you to download to customize and use within BetAngel. So when you bring up the market overview screen, um, what this is actually showing you um, is a whole range of information. But before I explain that, I'll explain how you can configure the screen itself because it is actually possible to manipulate and change, as you can with all features in BetAngel, each of these columns. So if you wanted to display uh, one piece of information next to the other or in the middle or something, you can move it around um, and then the market over this screen will remember where you've put that information. Um, but there are also other ways that you can modify it as well. It is possible to drag um, each of these interfaces to different parts of the screen and uh, that's entirely up to you how you want to display that information and then obviously you can resize it um, and so on. But there will be times when perhaps you don't want the screen laid out exactly like this. So if we actually go up you'll see that there are a number of options available to you as to how to display the information. So at the moment this is displayed in terms of panes but if we display it in terms of tabs then you may find that that's a little bit more interesting to you because you can actually display either the grid, um, the chart, um, or information independently on there from there. So you may find that that suits you a little bit better um, than the standard layout. It's up to you entirely how you choose to display this information. I'm just going to pin this here so that it remains on top of the application at this particular moment in time. But yeah, basically you can display tabs, you can decide how um, the market is synced as well. So it will either sync to the market which you've got within BetAngel, which I have in the background here, no synchronization at all, or the market that is underneath the mouse, or Guardian selected market. So can you see what we've done there? This means that you can display information in Guardian, and then as you're moving your mouse across those markets, um, or you're selecting a specific market within Guardian, it can display all that information on the market overview for you. In fact, what I should probably do is bring up Guardian um, and demonstrate this to you. So you can see that we're in Guardian here. And if we go into the overview screen and we select Guardian Selected Market, then this basically means we can flick between individual markets and it will display the data related to that particular market. So it's just a, a quick way basically of displaying information. Now, if I actually go in and mark these and add these markets to a watch list, then you can achieve the same sort of effect on a watch list, uh, but by doing it as market under the mouse. So if I just shrink these uh, to a much smaller mix from here, can you see it's achieving the same thing? So whether you're using a watch list or you're using Guardian, and you have the market overview chart up, you can synchronize it so that it displays data from that individual market. So a lot of people use the market overview screen just to get uh, information on how individual selections are performing within a market, but there is other information contained within here as well. Uh, the risk meter is specific to UK horse racing, but basically it tells you how volatile a market is. Um, but that's based upon the type of market that you're looking at. So if it's in the green, it's basically saying there's not much going on with this market. Everything's within standard sort of trading ranges. And if it's in red, it's going, oh my God, what is going on within this market? So it gives you a nice objective measure of how this particular market is performing given the circumstances. It's a way of assessing a level of volatility within the market. That's very specific to horse racing. But the main grid also contains additional information that will allow you to understand um, exactly what you're looking at and how a market has performed. And for example, when the market um, is underway and you've added it to Guardian, you can actually keep an eye on the current high and low prices over the course of 
the day um, and over the course of the event itself and so on. But you can see there's additional information here such as which selection is at the top and the bottom of its range, how much money it's traded, um, its projected SP, its actual SP and other information like that. And as with all things in BetAngel, you can actually choose which columns you wish to display in here. So it's actually perfectly possible, apart from I've just hidden that. <laughs> here we go. Um, it's actually perfectly possible to add or remove individual items um, from that particular list if you so wish to do so. If there's information that you aren't interested in that you don't think you um, want to keep an eye on, then you can just remove that from the actual screen itself. So rather than just being a way of charting information, it contains a whole range of other bits of information within here as well. LTP is the last traded price. Um, IP is implied probability. So you can see here, Johnny Boom, his last traded price is four, which gives it an implied probability, a 25% chance of winning this particular race. So you can see this is a reasonably competitive market. You can also see that Tom Collins is at the top end of its trading range. Johnny Boom is at the bottom. So we deduce from that that it is being backed. But they've actually both traded about the same amount of uh, volume, Johnny Bloom a little bit more. And you can see that represented as a percentage from within here as well. And we can assign colors to each of these uh, from this particular screen as well. Um, but there are additional uh, things that you can do to change the way that information is displayed in the market overview screen. So let's have a look specifically at information um, and modifications that you can make to the way that the chart is displayed. The first thing that you'll notice is we have all the runners in the market here on this particular chart and um, it's auto zoomed so that as the price moves it displays all of those within there but we, we don't have to do that. We can actually display as little or as many as we want and we can shrink that to the front of the field or bring focus uh, to that in any particular way that we wish so that we can look specifically at what's happening within this particular market. But there are other ways to achieve the same sort of thing. So for example, if we go to the charting, the method for choosing the selection to chart, you can select them manually on the grid. Uh, we've just seen all of that information on the grid. You can select uh, individual uh, runners or selections to be displayed within the market overview chart. But you can also display it by price as well. So we could say display anything from 101 to 10, for example, and then that will basically display just those runners. If we use auto zoom, it will keep it framed within what you can actually see on here. Um, but you could also limit it by the number of selections that you wish. Um, and if I just go in here and modify a few things, then you can see you can also display it by Betfair order, ascending back prices, ascending low prices, or the quantity of selections to chart. Um, you can also uh, modify the color allocation when switching to a market. Um, but one of the questions that we often get asked is we're sort of saying, you know, um, I don't like the white background. Can I modify that? Well, that's pretty easy to do as well. Um, but we just need to skip to a slightly different part of BetAngel to allow you to do that. So I've just moved the market overview screen down a notch to allow me to look at the settings that we've got. Um, on the middle of the Bet Angel screen here. And if you click on settings, then it will bring up the settings as the name suggests. And then if you go to charts within there, that will allow you to modify the standard and advanced chart settings, but also the market overview display preferences as well. So you can see here, we can actually change that to any range of colors that we so wish. Um, and we can change the text color, the grid color. We can put horizontal or vertical lines um, on that particular grid. And that will allow you to display, I mean, get it exactly the way that you want it, basically. Oh, that's a horrible color. That's a bit nicer. Um, but once you've achieved the exact color scheme that you so wish to display on the market overview screen, then you can actually save that onto the default or you can actually save it as a profile. So you could actually name it uh, whatever you wanted to. And then that will be available for you to select in the drop down menu. So yeah, you can modify the colors, you can add and remove items from there, you can display uh, it in different styles, you can uh, do all sorts of things. Uh, it's fairly common in BetAngel that you can modify everything that you can see uh, to suit as you wish. But essentially, there's a quick overview of the market overview screen.